Hi everybody, my name is David. I'm a co-play frontier from the Genesis Group. Just want to give you guys a market update. Uh, so you can see Bitcoin taking a drop. And okay. Now I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this kind of doesn't look good because it went under that pink line. So you're wondering, well, who cares? I care, and I'll tell you why. That pink line in Cuckoo or Cocoin, I don't know why I say Cuckoo, in Cocoin is that purple line. So let's go to the past. What happens when Bitcoin has a run up and prints a candle, a daily candle underneath the purple line? Now, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but. All I got to say is, last time it printed a daily on the purple line, the purple line became resistance for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I don't know. Anyway, it was underneath the purple line for like, th like three weeks. Okay, that purple line was strong resistance. That was the f Let's look at this one. You had a nice little run up. That daily candle sink deep under the purple line and it dropped pretty hard. And once again, it's probably under purple line for like three weeks. Here, it dropped under the purple. It stayed under the purple for like, whatever, almost two weeks. Had a green that popped, had another red, stayed under it again for like almost whatever. One, two, three, four, like four days, but uh, it's popped on underneath the purple. It was under the purple line, you know, for whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Anyway, like two and a half, three weeks or something. So you can see that every time that Bitcoin goes under this purple line, is there for like two to three weeks, except for that one time it was only underneath for like four days. And here, look at this. You had a nice little run up. You printed a candle underneath and look at that huge drop. Because you had a run up here. Here, you print it underneath and it's under the purple for some time. I'm just looking at the history. You printed a, a candle underneath the purple from 40 something thousand. I mean, it was underneath the purple for a while. I mean, that looks like months. That's after having a nice run up, like the one that we just had. Okay. Here. Okay, you had a green, so one, two, three, four, five popped. One, two, three, four, five. Anyway, even if it gets out of the purple quickly, it's about as fast as it comes out of purple. It's like four days, you know, but that time it was already under underneath for that for like a week or something. It popped up and kind of went back under. So what am I trying to say here? When Bitcoin goes under, prints a candle on a daily underneath a purple line. It normally stays underneath the purple line. From what I see, the shortest time is like four days, five, six days. But the longest time, it can be like months. Or, oh, yeah, over a month. We just had a nice run up. Okay. And we just, even here, it printed, have was underneath the purple for about five days. One, two. Yeah. And it popped out of it is back underneath the purple. I would imagine it's gonna be underneath the purple for, you know, at least for the next four days. Could be weeks. So that's bad news. It doesn't look good for Bitcoin. That's the pink line here. Okay.
look at every time Bitcoin is underneath the peak. When it gets underneath the pink, well, obviously this line is not exactly the same as KuCoin, but similar, right? Uh, it doesn't look good in general, or maybe it is the exact same line. I mean, it looks that way. When it's above the pink, it's pretty good. <laughs> when it's underneath the pink, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Look at that. To me, it's like every time it breaks the pink, sometimes, you know, is is a decent buy signal for the next couple of days. You know, not every time, but look at this one when it went underneath the pink. I mean, jeez. So I want y'all to look at look at that. It doesn't look good. Okay, whenever Bitcoin goes underneath this pink line. And we just went underneath it. All right, we just went underneath it. So to me, that does not look good. It just doesn't look good. You got to hope that it's like a pink line situation that like right here. If it doesn't do something like that, man, it's going to look ugly. Okay? It's going to look ugly. And so, we'll see how this plays out. But right now, being that yeah, it's underneath the pink, technically it doesn't look that good. Okay? And I would imagine, yeah, you're, you're going to have some further downs. And probably, you can see right here, all this price actions from these candles here. Go figures is in that same price range. But I would imagine it's going to get dumped down to this price range here. Now, let's say... Uh, if it goes further than that, I would imagine it's going to go to this purple line. Okay? Around that price range. You got to look at why. Because it's probably that purple line around here, that 18000 You see that green wick right here? Okay, you see some price action all around here. Massive support. Okay? And so... Something like that. That's if. I, I just think. Got to see what happens. How Bitcoin reacts at prices around here. Now. That being said. Let's look at KuCoin. Um, and y'all. Like I've been telling y'all. like I think KuCoin. It's not looking good. I mean look at this. Cocoin went down to 6.61 cents. And let's be honest. How many Coke channels said, oh, I see Cocoin going down to 6.6 .6 cents. I, I, I think I'm the only one. The only one. That's like, well, Cocoin can even go down to like a cent. Depending on how bad Bitcoin gets beaten down on this come around. And, yeah, why not? Because look at KoCoin's price action. This thing looks devastating. Look at that. That just, it looks ugly. Look how terrible that thing looks, right? But look at Ethereum's. Nice. Mega move up. This, it looks good. It looks good. Look at Bitcoin. Mega move up. And right now all I see really is I told you in the previous video I see bearish diversions. That's all I see. I just see a bearish divergence playing out. Alright. And that's all I see. I, that's why I think you, you could have more pullback. A stronger pullback. 
and that candle going underneath the purple to me is stronger confirmation because you have a bearish divergence that's probably like over a month now and it's big I mean yeah <sighs> but when you see you know Bitcoin Ethereum all these other coins well look at Shibu what the heck even Shibu looks good you know, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't buy it. I actually, I did buy it for a short trade and I made a small profit off of it. But, but y'all get what I'm saying? Like, but where was the pump up for CoCoin? No pump. The thing looks horrible. Look at this thing. That's not from, that was, no, this is, this was the whole move. It looks like Bitcoin's move, but reverse. Ethereum's move, but reverse. The other coins move, but reverse. And then imagine Bitcoin has big divergence. You see the DXY, the dollar's going up. Well, what the heck? Cocoins already went down to 6.6 .6 cents. What if Bitcoin comes back down to like 18, 17, 15 thousand dollars? And it grinds its way. It, it does it in the next two, three weeks. <sighs> Man, you might see a two cent Cocoin. Less than that. One cent cold coin. Now I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. But you're not going to get me to lie and, and pump up something. I just see charts. <laughs> I see lines, indicators, charts, all of that. And uh, yes, you have some good indicators that show you that Bitcoin is nearing the bottom of the bear market. Okay, maybe it is. I you got a lot of indicators that show that, but right now I'm looking at more of the short shorter time. In in the shorter time, it looks bad. It looks bad, and then it looks really bad for Cocoin because look at Cocoin's move during the pump, but nothing goes up in a straight line. So, you know, it's just bad news. Cocoin looks bad. Bitcoin doesn't look all that good. Now, I like to give a thanks to my uh, older bro, Terry Yu. He does send me a lot of good um, info from Optical Arts because he uh, is a subscribed member to Optical Arts. I would be a subscribed member to Optical Arts even now, but Korean government or in the previous administration blocked it because they don't want us to be involved or get those type of services. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, so thank you to Elder Bro Terry you and that's what I see. Uh I still see more trouble and struggles. Um but we'll see. I, I hope I'm wrong. I hope I, I hope I'm wrong for y'all if for for you who are deep in the co coin or angry that I say these things, but they keep coming true. Now, remember, I am not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I do tell you what I do sometimes or what I think will happen. I give you all reasons why. Um, I did sell off some more. And it was great because when I see the prices of some of the altcoins that I sold off to the prices that they're at now, I feel much better. <laughs> and then I think it's going to go lower. So when I do buy back in some of them, Wonderful. Just like all the Bitcoin that I sold. I feel great when I see Bitcoin prices now. And I would have, if it would have went up to like, you know, even starting at 27,000, 28, I would have been selling a lot more, right? But I just, actually, I'm more cashed out in, in um, stable coins. And I'm glad. I'm glad. I made the right choice, right? Because I kept saying for the past handful full of videos, I think. For me personally, this is a selling opportunity, not a buying opportunity. And that's what's playing out. So, but I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what to do. I just tell you what I do or what I think will happen. I give you all reasons why. As always, um, please be spiritually healthy. You know, now's a great time to get to know Jesus Christ as your Lord, Savior, and Messiah. And um, of course, you want to be. Uh, mentally healthy, physically healthy. Um, 
surround yourself with the right people. I, I still think like I wouldn't be surprised if inflation comes back up sometime this year. Because I you know whatever gas prices go up, other um, the PPI, the production price index, whatever for producers price index, that still is pretty high, and so they're not gonna operate a business to lose money, so they gotta charge more money to make a profit, right? And you know food prices are going up, so. I still think things will be tougher. Uh, more good jobs will be lost while they open up jobs that are not as good as the good ones, like a lot of service jobs. And uh, yes, yeah, so I think you're gonna see more hardships. Uh, tough, you know, things will get tougher on the the, the commercial and and um, commercial real estate and housing real estate. More, you know, all of that. So, that's just what I think. That's what I see. Um, yeah. As always, I'm praying for all of you in Jesus Christ's name. Take good care of yourselves. God bless and co-God.